Hey guys, Christina here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you another illustration that I finished for my dissertation. I've been talking about this for a little while now, but I'm writing a dissertation about sound and a lot of it has to do with natural sounds in the city and things like that. So um, I had my kind of midway submission um, a little while ago and um, my supervisor was really happy with the illustrations that I've done so far and he encouraged me to get some more done for the dissertation so I decided to um, do a special illustration for the cover as well that will obviously go along with the team and I started working on it and I I worked on it for like five ten minutes and I was like wait a minute why am I not recording this because I knew that the concept that I have is something that you guys are probably going to enjoy so I started off with a rough sketch uh, which actually turned out to be cleaner than what my sketches usually are like and then I went over the pencil lines with a green multiliner just again to make sure that everything's clean, I know exactly what line is the one that I should follow when I'm tracing the piece and just to gain a better understanding of how everything's going to look like at the end uh, without all the extra lines because sometimes I like things more when they have all these lines and then you trace them and it's a bit disappointing so uh, after I finish uh, my outlining with the green multiliner you're gonna see me use my light box again and I'm basically going to transfer uh, the sketch onto the final piece of paper that I'm going to be using and I'm not using uh, any fancy paper for the illustrations for my dissertation I'm gonna scan them anyway so no one is going to be able to see how big they are or what was the actual quality of the paper so I just use the same cardstock that I would use for sketching because it's good enough to handle a small, a small amount of markers especially I'm only going to use one color for this so that's perfectly fine and right now here I'm kind of trying to experiment with the background um, and I, I wasn't sure what I want to do there if I wanted it to be a solid color or if I wanted to have something more happening behind the face and I decided that I want to add some buildings and since this space is only going to be in black and white you have to be quite clever about uh, what you're gonna leave white and what is going to be covered in black so at that stage I still haven't had everything figured out and I wasn't entirely sure um, you know if her hair is going to be black with white accents and then I'm going to have white background with just the buildings outlined in black or if it's going to be the other way around I still couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do at that point and you see me sketch some buildings um, in the background I figured that this was simple enough uh, so it wasn't necessary for me to do it um, on the initial sketch since I've already messed up the background with the multiliner so I just did it straight onto the like final paper that I'm going to be using for this illustration and I'm just using a Copic multiliner to outline everything and make sure that I'm happy uh, with everything and also to get a better understanding again of what goes where and what is going to be white and what is going to be black. Um, also another reason why I use the back, the black fine liner even for things that I knew are going to be black from the get-go is um, that if it's a smaller area I would much prefer to color it in with the multiliner than with an actual marker because as much as I have control over the tip of the marker sometimes mistakes happen and the ink bleeds outside of the line so I always like to 
outline everything with a multi-liner even if I know it's gonna be a large area of black I just it makes me feel better about the edges of the actual piece and this piece was actually very therapeutic to work on because and this is kind of like what I enjoy about uh, this style um, that only uses black and white is that it's kind of simple to do meaning it doesn't uh, take, you know, it doesn't really make you think too much about what you're doing once you kind of figure out what goes where. It's just coloring. So it's literally like a coloring page and you can't go wrong. You know, you don't need to worry about blending or anything like that. So it's really, really enjoyable to me. And also there is something about repetitive tasks that for whatever reason I find extremely appealing. So I really enjoy working on art pieces like this one. Um, actually, while I was in high school, I was doing a lot of uh, portraits in this style and this was kind of like my little job on the side. Um, and I was able to make a little bit of money. I was really obsessed with this style for a very long time and um, that's why I work fairly quickly in that style. And it looks like you've put in a lot of effort in a lot more time than you've actually had. Um, something that took you one or two hours looks as if you spend an entire day on it. Um, and this is one of the comments that I actually got from my supervisor. He thought that I spent ages on my illustrations for this dissertation when in reality, you know, I managed to get them done fairly quickly, but that's because I have a lot of experience in that particular style of drawing. Um, I feel like um, this is going to be either the last one or the second to last one illustration out of my dissertation that you're going to be seeing. I'm kind of pre-recording some things just now because I am going to be on trip to Spain in March and um, yeah, I don't know in what order the videos are gonna go up yet. So it's still February right now. It's actually the 25th of February when I'm recording this. <laughs> so, you know, if I'm supposed to say something relevant to the date when this goes up and I don't say it, this is why I'm just recording this voiceover um, earlier. Um, it will be so funny if this goes up next week, which it probably will. But anyway, so... Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this artwork, guys. I really hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.